Range script loaded, you can now press escape, select choose slot, and pick your aircraft. You have chosen to start the mission in the air, please set the throttle lever and use trim to level the aircraft and navigate towards waypoint B3, where the target is. Maintain a speed between Mach 0.65 to 0.75, and an altitude under 150 meters above ground level. The RB-05 is an early multi-purpose missile, which can be used against large ground fixed targets, ships, and also against non-maneuvering aircrafts. While the Vigan was being designed, its only anti-ship guided weapon was to be the existing RB-04, but this missile could only be used in open sea, because of its primitive seeker and navigation systems. So, a secondary weapon was needed for archipelagos and beach landings, and maybe do double duty against other ground targets. This need eventually gave origin to the RB-05, designed by Saab and Bofors, developed in the 60s by Saab Scania, and roughly based on the American AGM-12 bullpup which Sweden had tested extensively. It entered service at the same time as the aircraft itself, on 1972, and was in service until the attack Viggen was retired, on 2005. Its maximum effective range is 9 km, and it is manually guided by the pilot employing a small control stick mounted on the right console. Guidance commands were transmitted to the missile via a jamproof radio transmission link. It had a rather large 160 kg warhead, which made this weapon effective against targets like warships and bridges. The missile has a bright orange flare on its tail, and employs a smokeless liquid fuel rocket engine, so that the pilot can see the missile and guide it onto the target. The RB-05 propellant was highly neurotoxic, and because of this the missile was delivered to service inside a gas-proof bag, and the ground crew treated the weapon with extreme caution. The missile has three different fuse settings, selected by the pilot according to the target type. Mark, for ground targets, the missile will detonate on impact. SJO, for naval targets, the missile will detonate after impact, to allow it to penetrate inside the ship before exploding. Luft, for aerial targets, this is a proximity fuse. The missile will detonate when within 6 meters of an aircraft. The RB-05 employment does not need a precise QFE, nor a target waypoint. However, having a waypoint over the target does allow the pilot to know precisely the range to target. The RB-75 Maverick was added to the Vigan on 1977, but the RB-05 remained relevant as a secondary weapon, due to the Maverick's problems with high brightness environments such as snow-covered fields, and because it could be jammed by using smoke. To be accurate, the RB-05 demanded considerable skill for the pilot to control it, so the Swedish pilot's training program included 1,000 attacks in a simulator during a short period, and thereafter the pilot's ability was maintained with a few simulated attacks per month. The only RB-05 simulator was initially installed at Soderham, the airbase of the F-15 wing. The target scenery was projected onto a big screen and the scenery was a model landscape with a camera traversing over it. When the missile was launched, the pilot had to steer a red dot into a ring that approached you, superimposed on the target. Before shooting on the Viggen with a live missile, there had to be a training in the SK-61 Scottish Aviation Bulldog Trainer, with a couple of cheaper RB-53 Bantam tow missiles, which used a similar guidance system even if it was wire-guided instead of radio-controlled. As the SK-61 is much slower, the firing distance and speed was scaled down, so it was still quite realistic. After finishing this training program, they got to launch one live RB-05. The RB-05 known specifications are listed below. Press space bar to continue. As target for this training mission, we will use an old two-floor building, located on an abandoned airfield near Antelope Lake, southeast of Tonopah Test Range, plus a weapons range script developed by the user Sirabob, which will allow you to gauge your delivery accuracy. The RB-05 can be used against ground, sea, or aerial targets, be sure to select the correct fuse option, for ground target. The suggested attack direction is from south to north, but you can actually attack from whichever direction you prefer, 
taking into account that the maximum range of the RB05 is only 9 kilometers. As the RB05 requires quite a bit of practice to be accurate, we will use a DCS option that allows unlimited munition, so that you can shoot as many times as you want, until the target building is destroyed. However, keep in mind that on operational missions you will only have a maximum of two RB-05 missiles to shoot, so strive to employ no more than two missiles if possible. You can leave the range by flying north, towards waypoint before. At any time, you can access your accuracy statistics by calling up the F-10 option of the communications menu. Press space bar to begin the training. Preparing the RB-05 for an attack onto a surface target is very simple. 1. Master Mode Selector, set to ANF, Attack. However, note that the RB-05 can be launched also in NAV mode, the HUD symbology will be identical on both modes. 2. Weapon Selector, set to mark for a ground target. If the target were a ship, you would then select SJO. Aerial targets will be seen on our next RB-05 mission. 3. Set HUD mode to low altitude, by setting the Slav SI switch to Fran, off. The Vigan's computer does not have a special HUD mode for the RB-05, but decluttering the HUD with this switch will allow for an easier view of the target. 4. Set the altitude source selector, HUD CISI, to RHM. This will ensure the radar altimeter is used as the primary altitude source, which has a more accurate reading at low altitudes. 5. Adjust HUD brightness. You may want to reduce it, to make it easier to see the RB-05 flare after it is launched. The RB-05 missiles are now ready to use. Press spacebar to unpause and continue the training. We are nearing the weapons range, so let's review the RB-05 attack profile that the Vigan employed on real life, as once the attack begins it will all happen fast. 1. The approach to the target area is made at very low altitude, try to stay under 150 meters above ground. 2. If you have a target waypoint, as is the case on this mission, use the distance indicator to keep track of the target range. Else, you will have to visually judge the range. 3. At 12 kilometers from the target, perform a pop-up maneuver. Oversea or flat terrain pop-up to 200 to 250 meters, over rough terrain you can reach higher, to between 500 and 800 meters. 4. Maneuver to locate the target, then fly towards it on a level attitude. In real life you would not fly straight towards a target, to avoid being an easy target yourself. Instead turn 15 to 30 degrees to the left or right of the target. 5. Enable the attitude hold autopilot, once you are on the desired heading and attitude, so you can concentrate on guiding the missile. 6. At 9 kilometers from the target, set the trigger to unsafe. At this point, the missile activates its onboard battery, to power its radio receiver and guidance unit. This battery only lasts for around 40 seconds, so this procedure step should be done just before firing. 7. Fire the missile, by pressing the flight stick trigger. Once fired, the missile will activate its tail orange flare and pull up slightly, to ensure that it enters into the pilot's field of view. To steer the missile, you may find it helpful to zoom onto the HUD view, to more easily view the flare and the target. Press spacebar to continue. The RB-05 missile controller is on the right side console, it's basically a hand grip, with a small thumb and index finger joystick. The stick was actually an analog force transducer stick, with just a little play. On the real RB-05, the control surfaces were powered by a small supply of compressed gas, which only allowed for a limited number of control inputs. You had to steer the missile on a trajectory towards the target, without overcorrecting too much, before the missile became uncontrollable. The original version of the Vigan for DCS, had only a small set of commands to guide the RB-05. Later updates added bindings for both faster and slower controls rates when the binded control was held down, plus a set of diagonal control bindings that can be used with an 8-way joystick hat. You should try which set of controls adapts best to your hardware. 
On my case, I find that the original commands work best for me, on a four-way hat. Using the flight stick to control the missile, felt unrealistic to me, so I don't use those commands. Real Vigan pilots used to pulse the controller, giving short steering commands and wait a bit for the result, and this technique seems to work well on DCS-2. So, give short control inputs, do not hold the stick in one direction for long, to avoid overcorrections which would waste the limited controllability of the missile. Press spacebar to unpause the mission and continue the flight. If you want to make another attack run, descend to under 150 meters above ground, and extend on a southern direction until about 15 kilometers away from the target. At that point you can turn back to make another attack pass on the target. If you prefer to end the training, fly instead towards waypoint B4. Set trigger to safe, the next RB-05 missile is automatically selected. If radar modes A1 or A2 were selected before firing the RB-05, it will be set to A0 after firing. However, the radar mode switch doesn't really move to its A0 physical position, thus to engage A1 or A2 mode after firing a missile, the switch must be cycled back to A0 and then to A1 or A2. Good, you are now far enough from the target, turn around towards the target, which is at waypoint B3. Maintain a speed between 0.65 to 0.75 Mach, and an altitude under 150 meters AGL.
If you want to make another attack run, descend to under 150 meters above ground, and extend on a southern direction until about 15 kilometers away from the target. At that point you can turn back to make another attack pass on the target. If you prefer to end the training, fly instead towards waypoint B4. Set trigger to safe, the next RB05 missile is automatically selected. Good, you are now far enough from the target, turn around towards the target, which is at waypoint B3. Maintain a speed between 0.65 to 0.75 Mach, and an altitude under 150 meters AGL. If you want to make another attack run, descend to under 150 meters above ground, and extend on a southern direction until about 15 kilometers away from the target. At that point you can turn back to make another attack pass on the target. If you prefer to end the training, fly instead towards waypoint B4. Set trigger to safe, the next RB05 missile is automatically selected. Good, you are now far enough from the target, turn around towards the target, which is at waypoint B3. Maintain a speed between 0.65 to 0.75 Mach, and an altitude under 150 meters AGL.
nice hit. The target has been destroyed, you should now exit the range by heading north towards waypoint before. Deactivate the armament with this short procedure. 1. Set trigger to safe by clicking on the stick safety cover. 2. Set master mode to nav and press B4 to select the next waypoint. Good, this completes the weapons disarm procedure. You can check your range results by calling up the communications menu. Select F10, other. Then select F1, range, finally, click F3, my bombing results. You have completed the main subject of this training mission. Press spacebar if you want to fly back and land at Tonopah, or, press backspace to end the training now.